<laughs> hey everyone, this is Rachel and my name is Lee and we are here to talk to you a little bit about sharing. So you are ready to share and start your Plexus opportunity and we are so excited for you. Um, we have been sharing for quite a while. I've been sharing for a little over a year. And I'm a little over a year as well. Yes. Yeah. And so we are going to give you some ideas and tips to start sharing. Now, these are ideas and tips that we have learned along the way. We've learned them from our sponsor, and they've been shown to be very effective. And one thing that is important um, in Plexus and the opportunity is when you start to share and you start to build a team, if that's what you're interested in, then duplication is very important for the success of building your team and building your business. And so that's why the things that we're going to share with you are actually things that have been shared to us from our sponsor above, and it's just teaching that duplication process. So I'm going to turn the time over to Rachel, and she is going to talk about social media. Okay, I do have a few notes because I want to make sure I cover everything and I don't forget anything, okay? So social media, we're mostly talking about Facebook, but you can incorporate a lot of these things in Instagram and other social media outlets that you might be on. So um, first of all, you want to keep your first post simple. Don't make it too complicated. Don't overthink things. You know, just make it simple. Write just a few sentences. You know, make it a few lines. Um, if you're not quite sure what to say, you've just ordered your products, maybe that you haven't even got them yet, but you're like, I'm ready to go, then maybe you want to do a shout out, okay? And you can like, um, you know, a sh an example of a shout out would be like, Oh my gosh, I just learned about these awesome Plexus products from my friend Lee, and I wanted to thank her for introducing them to me. Um, I know they've helped her with energy, sugar cravings, and I'm so excited for this journey. Does anyone want to join me on the journey, or does anyone want to learn more? You know, just something simple like that, that you're just going to be like, here's my friend, she introduced it to me, this is what it helped her with, and I'm so excited. You know, because that way you can get the interest going even before your products even get there. Okay. Another way is to make sure your sponsor, they're there for you to support you. So you want to like reach out to them. Now, if um, you're not quite sure what to say and you reach out to your sponsor, they can give you examples. They can help you with some scripts. They can help you give examples of what to say. They can help you um, think of you know, it's always important to put yourself in posts. Like, don't just always post pictures of products, but like you holding your pink drink. I'm so excited. I started my day with my pink drink. So they can give you examples of things to like, what to say, keep it simple, you know, things like that. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. So if your direct sponsor above you is not um, actively interested in sharing at this time, don't hesitate to reach up to the sponsor above them. In Plexus, we are all one Plexus. We are one Plexus family and we love to help each other out. So don't hesitate to just reach out to somebody and say, hey, I would love it if I could get some help. Um, the other thing that's important is to know when the best time to post is. So most of us are already on social media. We know when we have times that we're like looking and scrolling through. Some of the best times we've found is in the evening from six to nine or like during your lunch break. So kind of think like when you're posting and you're maybe looking and, um, and that's when you might want to post. One important thing is make sure you're just not a Plexus commercial that you're posting about your life. People wanna see your journey, they wanna know about you, and if you're only posting Plexus over and over again and you look like a commercial, then you know they're not gonna be as interested. So you wanna make sure that like, if you post a Plexus post, post a, post a personal post, post something about your family, your job, your kids, your friends, your life, anything that's gonna also be posts about your life, and that way people want to like, watch you and learn about you, you know, don't hesitate to put like positive quotes on there, keep it positive. We want to make sure that we're always positive. We're always trying to help people and be positive. Um, then 
when you make a post and you might you might get some likes you might get some comments and you're like what do I do now you know and sometimes you won't get comments or likes right away sometimes people will just watch it because they'll want to know is this just a one-time thing or is she really you know posting so then you might go oh I got a post I don't know what to do I don't know what to say okay this is when it's real important to just start a three-way message just reach out to them you don't want to like start a whole conversation in your thread of your post. You just want to reach out to them in a message or something and just say, hey, I'll, I'll message you. Hey, I'll send you some information, you know, and then message them and say, hey, would you like to learn more about Plexus? I'd love to start a message with you, me, and my friend Rachel or my friend Lee, and then we can answer your questions about Plexus. And so that's when you would start a three-way message with you, your potential interested friend or family member or whoever commented, and then your sponsor or the person that's actively helping you. Because that way, um, they can then step in and answer questions, and as they answer questions, then you're gonna learn by their example. You're gonna see what they say, how they say it, and then over time, you're gonna learn what to do, and then, like we talked about that duplication, then in turn, you can then share with other people how they can do it as well. All right, and I love how she, how Rachel shared that, you know, if someone comments in your post, like, what's this pink stuff, or I'm interested, it's important to reply back and say, hey, I'll message you, or I'll send you some information. So it's very important how she said, don't carry on a whole conversation in your comments section of your post. Move it over to Messenger and start those three-way messages. Three-way messages are so effective because it gives that third party validation and they get to hear from someone else that also uses the products. But it's very important that you ask for their permission to be put into a three-way message. So again, when you're in Messenger, you just say, hey, thanks for liking my post, thanks for commenting on my post. I am very new to this. Can I put you in a three-way message with my sponsor who has a lot more knowledge than I do? And I wanna make sure that your questions are answered correctly. And then you're gonna learn so much by following that three-way message. So I love three-way messages. And then by the way, when they get their products in, then they come to that three-way message and they're like, hey, my products have come. And then we help them get started on their products. It's where follow-up can happen. And they start to feel very comfortable to ask questions and to let you know what's happening as they're taking the products. So three-way messages are awesome. <laughs> um, another thing that you wanna start doing is creating a Frank's list. Yes, Frank's list stands for friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, your kids' parents, and people in social groups that you have. The Frank's list is very important because that's your network. This is network marketing. Network marketing is about relationships. It really is about building relationships, and really I call it relationship marketing. So you're gonna make a list, just write down as many people that you can think of. And those are the people that you're going to reach out to. Now, I strongly suggest, if you're really interested in doing this as a business, this has to be something that you do consistently. People have to see that you are serious about it. If they don't see, if you, post a little bit here, post a little bit there, you maybe message once in a while, then people are like, well, maybe they're not really that interested in the products. Um, and so consistency is important with this. Whether you want to add three people to your team or a hundred people, it still is a business. And you're sharing to what, however many that you want to share. You set that goal. Um, so the Frank's list, you use that to reach out to people using Messenger, through text, maybe you meet with them in person, and some people are like, oh my gosh, what do I say in a message to someone? Simple. You just say, hey Sarah, how are you doing? I had a great weekend and I thought of you over the weekend because I started these new um, supplements that are plant-based. 
and they have totally helped me with energy and I've noticed that I'm sleeping better. Would you like to learn more about Plexus or something like, have you heard of Plexus? Simple things like that, that come from the heart. Um, and so that's how messages can be. Now, again, if you're not sure what to say, your sponsor can help you come up with examples of what to share. Um, also, another way of sharing is through sip and sees. Sip and sees I actually really like. When I first did them, I was very scared <laughs> of doing a sip and see. <laughs> so it's just getting a small group of people together and you present the products. And really, you don't present all the products. You just present the foundational ones, which is the Fab Four or the Fab Five. Um, and I'll tell you that one-on-one -on -one or person-to-person -person, um, type of learning about Plexus is very effective. And especially when it's in a small group, people feel like they can ask questions. And when you do your first sip and see, it helps to have someone else that does Plexus with you. So hopefully your sponsor, if they live close by, or maybe there's someone else in your community that can help you. Remember, we are one Plexus. Um, and then the last thing is um, Zoom meetings. Zoom meetings are like video conferences. And those are great to share with friends and family that don't live in your community. They might live in a different state. So it's an easy way to kind of bring that sip and see um, to technology or into your house using technology. And I found that Zoom uh, meetings that are not large, but usually like four or five people are very, very effective. So I do that a lot of times with new ambassadors. I just say, hey, can you get four or five friends together to do a Zoom meeting on this night at this time? And that new ambassador gets to just sit back and listen while I share about the products with their friends. And their friends get to ask questions. And so Zoom meetings are kind of like sip and sees, but done on the computer. Very easy way to share. So there's different ways that you can share. And all of these ways actually should be incorporated somehow. So again, talk to your sponsor. Let them know that you want to share, and they're going to help you. If your sponsor is not active, then talk to the sponsor above them so that they can help you. Because really, we are one plexus, and we believe that these products are for everybody, that they can help everybody, whether it is health, financial, or both. So we're excited yes. to hear about your journey in sharing Plexus and building your business, whether that means getting three ambassadors under you or getting 100 ambassadors under you. So keep sharing, and we're excited to hear about it. Yes. Have All a good right. day. Bye. Bye.